Okay, our question here is to find the log of negative root 3 minus i. So the minus i indicates here we're into complex analysis. So in complex analysis, z equals a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers and i equals square root minus 1. Okay, our z here equals negative root 3 minus i. So that's our z. Okay, so from this here, we can say that a equals negative square root of 3 and b equals negative 1. So let's just draw that, draw that quickly on the diagram. So negative root 3, that's the real component. And negative 1 or negative i, so it'll be negative i. So our point on the Arjan diagram is going to be here. Okay, right, now back to the question, how do we work this out? So the formula for log of any number, so log of z equals, it's the modulus, so log of the modulus of z plus i argument of z. Okay, so what's the argument of z? That's the first thing we can work out here. So what's the argument of this? So what we need to work out is the length of this line here. So we can use Pythagoras for that. So we've got root 3 for this side, and this side would be 1. So basically, r equals square root of a squared plus b squared, which equals the square root, root 3. Well, in our case, it's negative root 3. Negative root 3, but as you'll see in a minute, it won't matter if we put the negative or the positive there. And b is minus 1 squared. So that equals square root. Negative root 3 squared is just going to be positive 3. And minus 1 squared is positive 1. So if that would have been, if we left that as a positive, that would be fine. Only way it comes to working out the argument is the negative and the positive important. Otherwise, we would have ended up somewhere over here instead. So that's square root 4, which is basically 2. So therefore, the first part we can put in already. So let's just write it down. So this equals the log of 2 plus i. Now we need to work out the argument of our question here. So what is the angle here? This is what we need. We need to go all the way from the positive real axis all the way to here. So we can work out this angle here, that's not a problem, by using Sokotoa. So inverse tangent equals b over a, so it equals negative root 3 over negative 1. Sorry, negative 1 over negative root 3. Get that the right way around. Negative root 3, which equals 1 over root 3. And 1 over root 3 inverse tangent is pi over 6. But as you can see, pi over 6 will put us in the first uh, quadrant. We need to be in the third quadrant. This is the first quadrant. So what we need to do now is to work out what this angle is all the way from here, plus this little theta here. It's so basically going to add on pi, one pi term. So it's pi plus pi over 6, which equals 7 pi over 6. So now we can put in our argument, 7 pi over 6. Okay, so that will give us our answer.